Hey, this is Josh. We're here at the Big City Music booth with uh, Dan Green from 4MS, and he's going to explain some of the clocker modules for us. Here we go. All right. All right, we got the rotating clock divider here. We have three outputs triggering three different voices right now. So the incoming clock is coming from just a little any clock source, and we're speeding it up here. And what we're hearing is uh, four over five over six is our tempo right now. So if you can dance to that, then um, one thing this does is a rotating clock divider. So it actually you can rotate the tempo divisions among the jacks. So here I have a CV source. It's just a zero, so I'm applying about one volt now. Maybe about one and a half volts, two volts now. So we're the it's dividing between one divided by eight. So each jack gets divided by an amount, a different amount, and I'm shifting that and rotating it around the jacks. So, or then I can drive that with an LFO maybe, which from the surge. Like that for crazy weird tempo shifts that just go on their own. So, it's also you can do things, you can switch them. Um, it has jumpers in the back, which I've run to these switches on this, this little hack panel here. So it has like an auto re reset feature, which so when you're doing like 16 bars uh, measures, but you have a, like a s tempo divided by seven, it sounds really weird because it's always off. So you have it reset on the 16s here, or reset on the 32s, or reset on 24s, I think this is set up for right now. So um, another thing, it's one through eight divisions right now, but if I flip here, now I'm dividing 16, I think. Right now, I forget if I have this upside down or right side up. One of these is 16. There, that's 16. What you just heard was 32s. And then this can divide between 1 to 64. So it's going to take a while to get a clock pulse, but if I speed my clock up, we'll get it faster. Uh, Oh, I didn't have that flipped. Okay. And over here we have a clock multiplier. So let me patch the master clock into that. And I'm going to patch its output back into the divider. So the multiplier just does what you think. It's just multiplying the incoming clock times 1, which is nothing, times 2, times 3, 4, all the way up to times 8. So one thing about it is that um, if you t unplug the clock source, it just continues because it's just timing the last two clock pulses that it got. So you can use that. Let's get this tempo set up. So you can tap a tempo into it, and it'll lock to that for a minute. Like that. So if I tap it, the tempo speeds up until it gets the next clock pulse, then it goes back to normal. For some rolls, but uh, I think our 